Hi there, Rissy here with another episode of Rissy's Room for You. And I am so excited because not only is it Monday, the start of a new week, but this request came all the way from South Africa. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to read this book. I hope I don't mess it up. I was lucky enough to go to South Africa a few years ago where I met this wonderful, beautiful woman named Jen and she has two kids. Abby and Patrick and they asked me to read a book from Africa for them so I had to go and look for all the things that I had in the house so this fabric on my head is actually from South Africa this this is my apron that I wear when I cook this is from South Africa and this book Pretty Salma a little red riding hood story from Africa was written by Nikki Daly and Nikki Daly lived in South Africa. So I hope that you like this book, Abby and Patrick. And ah, I can't believe I'm reading a book to South Africa. This is so cool. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week and let's get started with this book. Pretty Salma, a little red riding hood story from Africa. Salma lived with her granny and grandfather on the quiet side of town. One day, her granny said, Salma, pretty Salma, please go to market for your old granny who loves you so. Salma put on her blue scarf, her stripy natama, her pretty white beads, and her yellow sandals. She tucked granny's shopping list in her natama, lifted granny's big straw basket onto her head and kissed Granny goodbye. Mwah. Straight there and back, said Granny, and don't talk to strangers, you hear? Okay, I promise, said Salma. Off went Salma, flip flop, flip flop, in her yellow sandals. As she walked, she sang her favorite song. Oh, Salma, pretty Salma, Come kiss Granny, your darling old Granny, who loves you so. At the market, she bought a giant watermelon, a speckled rooster, an ice cold pink drink, and a bunch of candy striped straws. The sun was growing hot and the basket felt very heavy. So Salma decided to take a shortcut home through the wild side of town. Along the way, she sang her favorite song. Oh, Salma, pretty Salma, come kiss Granny, your darling old Granny, who loves you so. Are you pretty Salma? asked a stranger. It was Mr. Dog. He had been listening to her song. Yes, said Salma. Are you going to Granny's? asked Mr. Dog. Yes, said Salma. Well, your basket is much too heavy for such a pretty little head, said Mr. Dog. Allow me to carry it for you. Salma did feel a bit dizzy from the heat, so she agreed to let Mr. Dog carry her basket. After a while, Mr. Dog asked, What are you wearing on your feet? Sandals, replied pretty Salma. Mm. They must be making your little feet very hot, he said. Why don't I wear them for you? So they stopped and Mr. Dog slipped his big feet into Salma's sandals. On they went, floppity flip, flippity flop. After a while, Mr. Dog asked, What's that wrap you're wearing? Oh, my Natama, replied Salma. I bet you'd feel cooler without it. I'd be happy to wear it for you. No sooner had Mr. Dog wrapped Salma's Natama around himself than he asked for her scarf and pretty beads. How do I look? asked Mr. Dog, striking a pose. Mr. Dog 
strutted along the road in high style. Salma began to miss her things, but when she asked for them back, Mr. Dog only said, some music will help us beat the heat. Won't you teach me a song? So Salma tried to teach him her favorite song. Oh, Salma, pretty Salma, come kiss granny, your darling old granny who loves you so. But Mr. Dog was hopeless at singing. All he could do was go woof, woof, woof. I need a lot more practice, said Mr. Dog. And until I learn to sing, you won't get your things back. Salma begged, Salma pleaded, Mr. Dog, Mr. Dog, please give me back my things. Mr. Dog growled. <sighs> You will never, ever get your things back. Now run away, little girl, before I bite you in two. <sighs> Poor Salma got such a fright when she saw his sharp teeth that she ran and ran and ran <sighs> until she found her grandfather dressed in his Anansi costume telling stories. When Grandfather heard Salma's story, he said, Oh, huh, that's a very exciting story, Salma, but it doesn't sound like a happy ending. How can we save Granny? I know, said Salma. We'll scare Mr. Dog. Exactly how will we scare Mr. Dog? asked Grandfather. Like this, said Salma, putting on the mask of Kaka Matobi, the boogeyman. Salma picked up Anansi's atupan and beat it loudly. Goema, goema. Grandfather picked up his rattles and gave them a fierce shake. Shuka, shuka. Little, little Abu Baker, who loved a good scare, joined in with clapping sticks. Katak. Attack. Let's go, cried Salma. When Granny saw Mr. Dog flip flopping up the path, she thought it was her pretty Salma. Salma, pretty Salma, come give your Granny who loves you so a kiss, cried Granny. Mr. Dog leapt up and gave her a sloppy kiss. Ugh. Oh my! Salma, said Granny, what a wet nose you have. Granny took the heavy basket from Mr. Dog and said, Salma, pretty Salma, you look hungry. Let's eat. Mr. Dog started to chase the speckled rooster round and round. Oh my, Salma, said Granny, what an appetite you have. Then Granny said, Salma, pretty Salma, it's time for your bath. Oh my, Salma, said Granny, what hairy ears you have. Are you sure you are my pretty Salma? Oh, <clears throat> yes, 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 cried Mr. Dog, jumping onto Granny's lap and wagging his tail. Now, Granny was really worried. Did her pretty Salma have a tail? Perhaps this wasn't her pretty Salma. Well, there was only one way to find out. Let's sing our favorite song, said Granny, and she started to sing. Oh, Salma, pretty Salma, come kiss Granny. Your darling old granny who loves you so. Woof, 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 barked Mr. Dog. Then Granny knew she had been tricked. She reached for her broom. Out, get out. But Mr. Dog liked being pretty Salma far too much to leave Granny's house. So instead he growled and snapped at her. 
Granny was afraid Mr. Dog would bite her in two, so she jumped into her cooking pot. Mr. Dog pushed the lid down. Mmm, nice, he thought. Granny soup! Granny cried, help, help, help. Just then, the door burst open with a loud, Goema, Goema, shuka, shuka, katak, atak. When Mr. Dog saw Kaka Matobi, the boogeyman, and his gang, he got a terrible fright. That bad dog slipped and tripped over his miserable tail right out of the house, back to the wild side of town. Salma took off her mask and helped Granny climb out of the pot. Then they all sat down to eat watermelon and sip an ice cold pink drink through candy striped straws. The next day, Granny sent Salma to market to buy new clothes. Salma went straight there and back and never talked to strangers again. Oh, Abby and Patrick, I hope you don't talk to strangers. Well, I know right now you are stuck in the house just like we are here in the United States, but I hope you are keeping busy. I hope you're reading a lot of books. I hope you're playing games. And I hope most importantly that you're helping your mom and dad around the house. And of course, don't talk to strangers especially after this is over, unless that stranger is me. But I'm no longer a stranger, so that's good news. All right, Abby, Patrick, and everyone else, I hope you have a wonderful week. See you next time.